So, okay, yeah, first of all, um, I would like to know if you guys um, grew up playing instruments and if what instruments did you play? Um, I started playing on the clarinet when I was in the fourth grade. Wow. And um, a year later, when I was in the fifth grade, I added the saxophone. Um, so those were the two main ones growing up. Uh, I kind of wished I had started on the piano, because that's a nice foundation, but I got into the piano a little bit later. So I'll let you continue. So I started uh, as a classical piano player. I played piano for like 10 years. Wow. And uh, when I was 15 with uh, teenage angst and uh, Nirvana, I switched to guitar. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and then I picked up, like my father is a uh, upright bass player jazz bass player in France and uh, so I always had jazz around my home and uh, at some point I just like drifted back into jazz. Yeah so like my brother I started in the fourth grade with the clarinet and um, uh, and then we added the saxophone a couple of years later um, and I think saxophone was when we really found what we wanted to do because saxophone is a jazz instrument yeah. and that's when we when we got to the saxophone, we found, um, you know, all the musicians we love and the style and everything. So immediately when you started playing, did you feel like a kind of connection towards jazz, or was it more that you had to try out different things to get there? Well, my brother and I got interested in jazz first um, before any other types of music. So we were watching TV in the third grade and there was a commercial on for Chips Ahoy Cookies, <laughs> yes, which, which I loved at the time, and I still do love Chips Ahoy Cookies. Um, so the soundtrack to this commercial where there were like chocolate chips and cookies dancing around was Benny Goodman's Sing Sing Sing. Yeah. So that's a great jazz song. So that inspired me to get into music. So early on it was jazz, and then I uh, discovered classical music later, and other styles, but Jazz has always been my main thing. That's cool. What about you? What about me? Uh, I was always drawn to music. Uh, I always had like some music in my home. Uh, I think the third word I ever learned saying was Mozart, <laughs> after mommy and daddy. Uh, and so I I always loved music and I always loved this uh, musical outlet and. Um, I, when I switched to guitar, um, and, and when I found jazz, it's like when I really found my voice, and I really wanted like, to pursue that. Okay. So how did you guys meet? Because, well... <laughs> well, well these two, <coughs> one of them is not like the other. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, um, New York City is the, is the international capital of jazz music, so, uh, you know, in the... In, 1940s and 50s, it's where all these great musicians like Benny Goodman, Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, they all came to New York. So there's, mm -hmm. this, there's a big history there. You know, um, they have all the jazz clubs like the Blue Note and the Village Vanguard and of course Lincoln Center. Um, so a lot of great musicians are there. So this is, my brother and I are from Washington DC and Felix is from Paris. And we all love jazz, so where do you go? You go to New York. Yeah, right. Uh, and so uh, we, we met at um, a couple jazz clubs in New York. We were, you know, about the same age, and we were uh, checking out some performances, and we just met Felix there. So, so you mentioned all the different, like, ja styles of jazz and the different people who sang them. What's your favorite style of jazz, and who is it by? Oh wow, that's a good question. Um, I think I think generally, um, Will, Felix, and I have a lot of broad interests. I mean, um, jazz and and just music in general. So there's a really wide spectrum. We have a lot of interests within that. But I think um, probably the music that came along in the '40s and the '50s, the swing era, um, and bebop are kind of our favorite uh, our favorite styles. Musicians like Dizzy Gillespie. Thelonious Monk, uh, Charlie Parker, uh, you know Art Blakey. So these these are the styles that kind of really lend itself to us. Yeah, and the the pianist that came from Washington D.C. named Duke Ellington, someone who we talked about in, in yeah. the classes. Yeah. His music spans such a wide variety of styles, and he also had a big band. Um, 
And a big band consists of saxophones, clarinets, trombones. So he was able to get the sounds of all the instruments and incorporate it into his music. So um, I'd say for me, Duke Ellington's probably been the most profound. Yeah. Where do you guys see yourself in your careers in like 10 years, let's say? Wow, that's that's a good question. Well, like I, like I mentioned, we or like my brother mentioned, we're all living in New York City. Um, you know, why do why do people go to New York City as a tourist to see productions? It's Broadway. So I'd say having our own Broadway show uh, with all jazz music wow. that would be yeah. that would be a, a dream. So, jazz means. <laughs> so we'll touch base in ten years. All right. Um, I have a question. If if you weren't playing jazz, what style of music would you lean more towards? Like, what second favorite style of music to play? Felix, do you want to take that? Um, it's complicated for my for myself. I think now it would be classical music. Um, uh, also, I'm not classically trained on guitar, so if I wasn't, I probably would have stuck to piano. Uh, when I did. And maybe another time, like when I was younger, I would have said rock. That's where I would have. I would agree. I would say the same thing with Felix. Um, I would probably say classical music. And there is a lot of crossover. But I think what a lot of people don't realize is that um, so many elements from classical music were directly lifted and put into jazz. Mm -hmm. All the harmonic structure that we're playing, um, all the chords, all the melodies, essentially it all came from European classical music. Um, I mean, there are exceptions, but um, I think a lot of that, uh, that beauty and the dissonance and the richness came from classical music, so um, I don't know if you would... Yeah, I would say, uh, unlike them, I would probably say I would probably be playing blues, uh, because the ja jazz and blues have a very deep connection. They're both uh, primarily in African American music, and um, you know musicians like Chuck Berry and BB King, they played in essentially the same style uh, that we're trying to uh, learn how to play. So I would say blues. What's your favorite part about jazz? <coughs> well, yeah, I think I think it's one of the reasons, uh, like we all met. Uh, jazz is really. Um, a music where you collaborate with other people. Um, you know, you, you meet, meet musicians from all over the world. Felix was from Paris, we were from New York, and we immediately had this great connection. We both kind of um, studied jazz, but we were able to collaborate with other musicians. You can't do that in every style of music. So the first time we played together, uh, we knew a lot of the same repertoire, a lot of the same tunes, and our style was similar. So I think jazz can bring people together um, from all over the place. So.